What's up you guys, let me read the new video today, um, I know everyone's been talking about this, I kind of wanted to give my two cents about it, as you guys can see, this is the April 1st uh, OCG list, and if you guys haven't seen this already, I'm sure you guys have been under a rock if you haven't, cause Cap, Glasgow, John, everyone's been talking about it, I wanted to talk about it just because... Being a competitive player, going to events and stuff, I got the UDS this weekend in Vegas. It makes me really wonder if this is something that could actually happen here in the TCG and how it would greatly impact our game. I know a lot of people are happy about this, especially if this does transfer over to here in the TCG. But let's just talk about it, because basically Zodiacs got the D. <laughs> they got the D really hard from uh, from Japan. So I was going to get into it. So they started off by forbidding uh, the Tyrant Neptune. Now, a lot of people don't know why. I wasn't familiar with it myself until... I I watched Cap's video about apparently there's this uh, like OTK FTK with it. Apparently it's like some some ridiculous thing. I, I haven't paid attention to it, but apparently if you don't have a kaiju or something, you completely you know you, you just lose. So they got rid of that, so that doesn't happen. So that that's whatever. Uh, the important thing though that they did forbid they did forbid Dryden and Barrage. Uh, that's insane, you guys. Like they could have just done Dryden. Like you have Broad Bull, but honestly, you have no real defense outside of your traps playing Zodiac. I've played Zodiac. I played both Kaiju and Pure, and I can tell you, you'll win games just off of Dryden alone. You get max seed, you just end with a Dryden. They draw a card, but it doesn't matter because you're just gonna blow up one of their cards. Uh, pretty insane. But the fact that they hit Barrage as well. Barrage is an amazing card. The fact that it doesn't take up your normal summon. The fact that it lets you pop tanky. That interaction is just insane. So they really went hard and just nerf the deck i mean i thought for sure i was like okay well dryden's gone barrage is gone you know what can you do now i guess you just have to play a much slower tempo zoo deck but i forgot they i believe have tanky to one so their deck is completely dead especially when you look at the limited we'll move on to the limited which of the black forest i believe it does have an errata that doesn't make it as strong as it once was for those of you that don't know, back in the day, Witch of the Black Forest, when it goes to the graveyard, could search any monster with 1,500 or less uh, defense. Jinzo was always a popular option just because Jinzo was amazing back in the day. So that's just a little something. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, since they eroded it, what it really will do uh, in the OCG as well as the TCG. Uh, but they hit Rat Pier. <laughs> they put the rat to one. It's over, you guys. You cannot play the game with one rat. Everyone knows what happens if you just lose one rat. If it gets banished or it gets removed from, by DD Crow or something, you just lose. So the deck is done in Japan. 100% done. There is nothing you can do with this deck now. One rat, no barrage, no dryden. It's over. Rip Zodiac, uh, it's over. So... <laughs> Those of you that wanted that to happen, maybe it'll happen in the TCG. I personally don't think it will go to that extent just yet, but it could definitely be something that might happen in the future. On to the rest of the cards. They limited uh, Gofu, Blackwing Gofu. The reason is uh, the fact that Gofu is such a versatile card, producing tokens, and it also can be used in Link Summoning. They probably wanted to put a stop to that ASAP. And the last card they limited uh, was Kaiju Slumber. That's pretty crazy, you guys. Everyone knows how ridiculous Kaiju Slumber is. It can literally just be a board wipe, and it can just win you the whole game it turns the entire tide of a game so that's interesting that they put slumber to one cap said he called that so slumber to one don't hit the kaiju just put slumber to one they have a lot harder time coming out because you'll draw them and they'll be more of a brick this time whereas slumber would keep would make them less of a brick uh i guess you can still play i guess like one slumber and maybe three kaijus that way if you draw one you still have the two in the deck but still that totally sucks so uh kaijus have taken a huge hit right there uh to the semi-limited Japan, you are just, like, not fair. You put Stratos to two. The, f the fuck, man? <laughs> like, we can't even get one Stratos. We can't even free my nigga Stratos, and you get two. That is just insane. I don't even know what to say about that. Honestly, I, I think I want to move to Japan. This is just ridiculous. Uh, Armageddon Knight to two. Uh, Fairy Tale Snow, one of my favorite cards. They put it to two. That's fine. We'll still play two if it, that happens here in the TCG. I already know that this Stratos thing will never, ever, ever happen to um, to TCG unless they like ban the hell out of like every good hero. So that's not going to happen. They put Goyo to two. That's irrelevant. Uh, Igna Ignister Prominence, the Blasting Draco Slayer. That's cool. You have access to a second one. We only have one here in the tcg just a really good card for pendulum decks even though pendulum decks are starting are really getting hit because of link summoning brian Eck, they put to two same thing it was eroded it only bounces i believe uh your opponent's cards so you can't bounce any of your cards or you use them oh they did put tanky to two <laughs> whoop de doo it, it doesn't really matter with zoo completely dead there's like no point and um 
Brain Control, uh, again, that card got eroded as well, so uh, Brain Control coming back is actually not really an issue. And then they unlimited, one of my favorite cards, they unlimited Artifact Moral Tech. That means that Artifacts do come back at full power. Moral Tech's just a really cool card. Magician of Faith is irrelevant. Uh, DD Lamia, that's the main tuner in DDDs. Um, we don't have that problem here in the TCG. Unfortunately, our problem with DDD is we only got to play it for like a couple weeks. So they are getting Lamia back. It makes me wonder if DDDs will try to make a comeback. I don't know if that deck is playable in Link Summoning format. I have not researched enough decks to know what's good and bad in uh, Link Summoning format, so we shall see. But yeah, those are the changes, you guys. And the last thing it says is Witch of the Blacks Forest text has been changed to make it less potent, but the specifics are unknown at the moment. So we don't know exactly what the errata is, but it's definitely uh, something uh, that nerfs uh, Witch of the Black Forest. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I just wanted to talk about this only because I feel as a competitive player and as someone that goes to all these events, this could be something that could definitely impact our format eventually. I don't feel we're going to get as severe a ban list as this. If we do, then I mean Konami really you know worked with Japan on this one. But yeah, let me know what you guys think i think it's insane that they get two stratos i'm sorry that is like the elephant in the room like what the fuck like seriously like that's just ridiculous we're never gonna see stratos back here and they get two i mean Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys japan japan's got it made i don't know about you but i'm getting to the point where i think it might be time to relocate but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up like i said i will be at the uds in vegas this weekend uh, i hope to see a lot of you there if you're gonna be there leave it in the comments below be sure to come say hi and yeah i hope that it's a great event for everyone and i hope that those of you that are traveling you have safe travels and i will see you guys there so yeah let me know what you guys think about the ocg ban list i think it's insane it's like literally insane they killed zoo and brought stratos back to two that's ridiculous so yeah, um, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.